Unboxing the printer. Turn the box so that you can see the serial number. Write it down so that you can refer to it later. Carefully open the box and remove the thin plastic bag. This contains the installation disc, user's manual, unpack, and setup guide. Remove the accessory pack and set it aside. We'll use it later. Carefully lift the printer and foam from the box, remove the plastic bag from the printer, and remove the foam while supporting the printer. Turn the printer so the back is facing you. The serial number can be found here also. There are two packaging clips that must be removed before your printer is powered on. The first clip is here. Remove the tape, then slide the clip and pull it off. The second clip is here. Gently lift this arm a few inches. Rotate the top of the clip towards the front of the printer. The clip will slide off the arm once it is in the correct position. Save the packaging clips for reinstallation in case you need to ship or transport your printer. Open the accessory box and remove the filament spool and power supply. Open the inner box and remove the filament hanger, filament tube, power cable, perf board, data cable, hex wrenches, platform calibration probe, and USB cable. For more detailed information on the setup and installation process, please review the Affinia 3D Printer User's Manual. Attaching the filament spool. Remove this screw, place the spool holder here, and replace the screw. Put the filament spool onto the spool holder with the end of the filament pointing up from the back. Thread the filament through the filament guide at the top of the spool holder. Insert the end of the filament into one end of the filament tube. Feed the filament through the tube until about 4 inches protrudes from the tube. Insert the first inch or so of the protruding filament into the top hole of the extruder head. Connect the power cable to the power supply and plug the power cable into a 110 volt outlet. Plug the power adapter into your printer and turn on the power switch. Installing the software and drivers. Your Affinia 3D printer comes with software for Mac, Windows XP, Vista, 7, and 8. For more details on this process, please see the user's manual. Follow the instructions in the installer to be sure the drivers and software are all in place before connecting the Affinia 3D printer to the PC with the supplied USB cable. Loading the filament. Start the Affinia 3D software and push the initialize button on the front of the 3D printer. When the printer is on, the light will turn green. After the printer has initialized, select Maintenance from the 3D Print menu. Click the Extrude button. The printer will beep once the nozzle has warmed up to between 265 and 270 degrees Celsius. You can also monitor the nozzle temperature in the maintenance window. Once the nozzle is heated, push the filament a bit farther into the hole at the top of the extruder head and hold it there with gentle pressure until the extruder motor starts pulling it through the extruder head. The extruder will release a thin strand of filament for a short period of time. Leveling the platform. To print correctly, the platform must be level. Here's how to do it. Remove any extruder filament from the bottom of the nozzle. Place the printing surface, such as the perf board, on the printer platform. Open the maintenance window, click the center button, then raise the platform to within a millimeter of the print surface. Continue to raise the platform by 0.1 millimeter until the nozzle is 0.2 millimeter from the print surface. Click the buttons for each corner, checking to see that the distance from the nozzle to the platform is the same in each corner as it is in the center. Adjust the platform as needed using the three leveling screws under the platform. Auto leveling the platform. Auto leveling is not intended to take the place of manually leveling the platform. Rather, it is used to compensate for a warped or uneven print surface. After manually leveling the platform, connect the platform calibration probe to the extruder head. It slips over the extruder nozzle and magnetically clicks into place. Plug one end of the data cable into the green connection on the back of the printer and the other end into the platform calibration probe making sure the data cable is routed around the right side of the printer and not through the printer frame. Select Auto Level from the 3D Print menu. The printer will raise the build platform and position the calibration probe over nine locations on the build platform while it measures the height. You will hear a faint click as it successfully measures each location. 
This process will take about 2 minutes 15 seconds. When completed, the software will display Auto Level Finished. Please set Nozzle Height before printing. Click OK and proceed to the next step. Calibrating the Nozzle Height The Nozzle Height must be calibrated prior to printing to ensure it's the correct distance from the platform. Remove the platform calibration probe from the extruder head and disconnect the data cable from the probe. Plug the data cable into the connection on the back of the nozzle probe positioned at the rear of the platform. Select Nozzle Height Detect from the 3D Print menu. The process of nozzle height detection will take about 20 seconds. The software will display the nozzle height. You are now ready to print your first model.